using the first and second derivative tests, find all relative maxima and minima of the function f of x equal to x to the fourth power minus 12x cubed. So what's our first derivative test tell us? We're going to have a critical point at x0, so that's where f prime is either zero or undefined. We're going to check the change in sign as we go from one side of x0 to the other. If it goes from positive to negative, our first derivative, then we're going to have a relative maximum. If it goes from negative to positive, we'll have a relative minimum. And if the first derivative sign stays the same on each side, we'll have neither. Okay, so let's check our function. We take our first derivative, where we get 4x cubed minus 36x squared. I can factor that into 4x squared times x minus 9. So I have critical points at 0 and 9. Let's take a look at the picture. So carve my region up, put a slash in at 0, slash in at 9. I'm going to check one point on each region to determine increasing or decreasing. We're really just mostly interested in the sign, so I can use the first derivative test. So the points I'll check will be minus 1, 1, and 10. Now, if I put minus 1 in, we get a minus sign out. We're not worried about the actual number. We only care about the sign. If I put 1 in, we'll get a minus sign out also. So we note, as I go from this side to this side on our critical point at 0, we're going to have neither. The sign never changes. Then let's try the derivative at 10. Here we're going to get a positive sign. So as I go from this side to this side of our critical point at 9, I'm going to have a relative minimum. We're going from negative to positive. If you look at the graph, okay, you see here around 0, we're not going to have either a relative minimum or maximum. And then if I look around our graph at x equal to 9, we're getting a relative minimum as promised. How about the second derivative test? What does this say? x0 is a critical point. We apply the second derivative to x0. If the answer is positive, we have a relative minimum. Okay, remember, if it's positive, we're concave up, so that means we're at the bottom. If when I apply the second derivative to x0, I get a negative number, I have a relative maximum. Okay, there we're concave down, so you're at the top. And then if I get 0 or undefined, inconclusive, I need to do more work. Okay, usually that's going back to the first derivative test. Okay, take our second derivative, what do we get? We're going to get 12x squared minus 72x. Factor out a 12x, leaves me with an x minus 6. If I put 0 in there, it's our first critical point. We get a 0 out, so second derivative test is inconclusive. Now note, the answer here is not that we have neither a relative min or a relative max. It's just that we need to do more work. Second derivative test can't tell us the answer. We check the critical point at 9. We get a positive number out, so that means concave up, and then I have a relative minimum. Okay, we check the graph. Here, we can't say anything. Here, we have a relative minimum. So at least in the point where we get an answer, second derivative test checks out. 